Welcome to this latest video weather briefing. This is briefing number three, March 21st, 2018. In this briefing, we'll give you an update on the significant and heavy rainfall potential from the atmospheric river Wednesday through Thursday. The latest radar image as we record this presentation shows a large area of rain moving across the Long Beach and Wrightwood area and rapidly moving through the northern part of the Inland Empire. The rainfall is generally light but we've had some locations that have received up to a quarter of an inch of rain already in the Wrightwood area. You can see the bands of rain extend well offshore. The atmospheric river that we've been talking about is set up. It's pointed directly towards Point Conception, as shown here, and moving northeasterly with some easterly component as well as it spills over into the San Bernardino Mountains. And you can see it's tapped all the way down into the tropics. On satellite, we can see a weather disturbance or upper low over the eastern Pacific that's allowing this moisture to be drawn northward and spreading up along the coast as shown here into central California and even spilling into parts of Nevada. This will gradually move from west to east over the next 24 hours. Here we're showing the atmospheric river potential and you can see it's rather broad area along the California coast this evening and into tonight and then early Thursday morning or late tonight it becomes more focused as the upper level trough of low pressure the dashed line shown on here moves eastward and forces that atmospheric river to focus into the California Bight the deep red area shown here as we go into Thursday during the morning hours a rather large atmospheric river will be over extreme southern California starting to bring the heavier rain into San Diego County and eastern Riverside. You can see the trailing system also has its own smaller atmospheric river continuing to affect central California. Now this entire system the dashed line moves eastward Thursday afternoon and evening and on the right hand side is late in the day with the remaining atmosphere atmospheric river will still be focused on far southern California near the Mexico border. Here's a regional depiction of the rainfall expected. You can see regionally the heaviest is up in Santa Barbara and there's some shades there in the deep red and white between six to eight inches focused in that area. Lesser but still a significant amount as you go down to the San Bernardino Mountains in the large yellow and orange and then generally one to two inches in the green area. Here's the latest precipitation forecast from the National Weather Service. Locate your area and see what your range is. For Orange County, it's generally between one and two inches. We have areas that are up near two and a half inches, and that'll be the coastal slopes. Now in San Bernardino, that area we see spill over into the high deserts of about an inch. We see a large swath of two to four inches in the deeper red, uh, locally over six in that area. Now when you go down into Riverside County, we see a little bit of a smaller coverage there, basically between an inch and an inch and a half in that dark green. Some spillover through the Banning Pass towards Palm Springs. Then we have an area of heavy rain expected over Mount San Jacinto where there could be a really strong and significant gradient of rain with keep in mind snow levels very high over 9,000 feet so all that's going to run off. Then we get down into San Diego County the northern part should do the best between an inch inch and a half they're going to start earlier on Thursday and also get the heavier band and quite a bit over three inches for Palomar Mountain expected now when you get down to southern San Diego County, between a half and an inch of rain, less near the border, but also some spillover as you see shown here. Uh, as some of that heavier rain will make it over the mountain slope of Julian in towards Borrego. This is the general outlook of the rainfall. Most of this rainfall, the majority of it is expected from midnight, Wednesday night, or early Thursday morning 
all the way through Thursday afternoon. Here are some of the details. The onset of the precipitation, well, it's already begun for the high deserts and the San Bernardino coastal slopes. It'll become more widespread overnight with waves of rain moving through. The coastal slopes will be getting significant precipitation in the San Bernardino Mountains and the high deserts this evening. Now for elsewhere, the coastal valleys areas of the Orange and Inland Empire, mostly light rainfall this evening, amounts less than a quarter inch. Now the onset of the heavier rain, it's going to be about midnight up north, uh, and especially after midnight, spreading into the early Thursday morning hours across Orange County, Riverside County, and San Bernardino County. It'll eventually spread into San Diego County, we think, um, early Thursday morning. And that'll also be uh, the part of San Diego County that sees the rain the longest um, through Thursday night. Now, rainfall rates per hour, which are critical, um, this is enough to cause urban small stream flooding, quarter to half inch when that heavier band of rain comes through after midnight and early Thursday morning. And then the reason why there's a flash flood watch out is we could exceed a half inch in some of the coastal slope areas and even over the burn scars that are fresh. The debris flow potential is possible and also small stream flooding. I think urban flooding is likely in some of the Inland Empire area and po possibly Orange County or the high deserts. Now flash flooding, which means just too much rain uh, and too short of a time anywhere is also, um, there is a low chance for that. Generally one to three inches as discussed, two to five along the coastal slopes. So that's basically elevations above a thousand feet. Um, up to about five or 6,000 feet, locally higher on those west-southwest aspects like on Mount San Jacinto and San Bernardino Mountains. San Diego County will have quite a range from uh, as little as a qu quarter to half inch to as much as an inch and a half in the northern part of San Diego County. And then the coastal slopes of San Diego County, that's uh, Mount Laguna up to Palomar Mountain, pretty widespread, two to four inches of rain. Uh, desert areas, the high deserts could get uh, anywhere from one to two inches and in, um, like the Hesperia area and uh, Phelan. And the Coachella Valley, it'll be the northern end of the valley is the main concern as you go through the San Gregorio Pass. And as you get closer to the Salton Sea, much less, maybe close to a quarter at best. Snow levels very high, so all this will translate to runoff. We do see a drop in snow levels late Thursday night, but most of that precipitation is ended. So there is a low to moderate threat for debris flows, and that's um, why we have the flash flood watch out. There's also a urban small stream potential that is quite high for the Orange and Inland Empire areas, and then maybe even the high deserts. And then we have um, a low threat for main stem river flooding. We'll see water going into our main rivers, like the Whitewater, Santa Margarita, San Diego. But at this time, it looks like a low threat. Again, the heaviest rainfall rates will be focused in a window after midnight and uh, through Thursday, perhaps uh, into the afternoon on Thursday. And it'll taper off from west to east, or actually northwest to southeast, to be precise. All right, please uh, check out the latest information at weather.gov. We'll update the rainfall predictions. We will have rainfall totals updated regularly across the area so you can see how much occurred. Any warnings or advisories like urban small stream advisory or flash flood warning will be immediately posted on weather.gov San Diego. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well on those social media channels. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.